What's up, guys? Jay, more than ever, kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And now that the holidays are over, and it's time to snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes rabbit. He choked. He's so mad, but he won't give up that easy. No. <laughs> what is it about that damn song? That's just so fucking catchy. But yes, we are now in that in-between stretch from Thanksgiving till New Year's. We're pretty much in the taint of 2015. Ooh, we're up in there. Nice and deep like. <laughs> and normally, right now, we'd be hyping up and gearing for another Destiny DLC content drop. But as of right now, Bungie has remained tight lip about any and all new content going forward this year, leading up into the release of Destiny 2 this September. However, 11 months is a long time in the Vinci game world, and what's the hot ticket now can easily become a ghost town tomorrow. Especially with tons of new multiplayer offerings coming up this year, Bungie is going to have to keep Destiny fresh until then. And one of the ways they plan on accomplishing this is by offering what was originally touted as a challenge raid mode, but has now been revealed by Bungie to be a new weekly challenge each week in the King's Fall Raid. So starting in December, each week will feature a different boss as a target inside of the raid. Now the target must be killed using certain methods to satisfy the requirements of the challenge. We don't know exactly, specifically, what each challenge will be, and we're not even sure that Bungie will tell us what the challenge is to complete it, or if they're gonna leave it up to us to discover it, but they did offer a friendly apology in advance for those that run the single pool strat for Golgoroth. Which is actually interesting, because it looks like Bungie is trying to use these challenges and rewards as incentives for killing the bosses in different ways, rather than running the same strategies each time each week, giving you a little bit of a different experience each time, and upping the replayability of the raid just a little bit. Now, as for exactly what the rewards will be for completing these challenges each week, we don't know. However, Bungie says these challenges will be able to be completed on both normal and hard mode with matching rewards for the difficulty of the challenge. But uh, I I'm fairly certain I'm not the only one in the community hoping that Bungie's definition of matching rewards isn't the same as their definition of working as intended. Kinda tired of hearing that shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. Super sane. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos. Me, motherfuckers, that watch my motherfucking videos. Tell me in the comment section down below. Is this enough to pique your interest to, to get you to come back to Destiny and run a few challenges in December? Or are you just sitting here? kind of curious and you're like you know what I'm gonna wait and see what everyone else gets as a reward for I, I waste my time because <laughs> honestly at this point I wouldn't blame you wouldn't blame you though <laughs> so my name's Jay we're after kill thanks for watching I'm gonna see you guys later